In the spring of 1799, Humboldt hiked across the Spanish Peninsula to catch a ship towards America. 18th century science only had a limited amount of data. Humboldt was convinced that with enough new scientific information, he would be able to explain the natural world's great mysteries. Amy Bonplan, a French botanist, would be his travel companion for the next five years. The men set sail on a Spanish ship towards South America. 41 days later, it dropped anchor off Cumana, in present-day Venezuela. Humboldt had brought 42 delicate scientific instruments to South America. Somehow, all had survived the voyage intact. With their instruments in good working order, the two scientists were ready to systematically explore the Venezuelan jungle. Humboldt measured temperatures and altitudes and made thousands of geological observations, while Bonplan collected a vast array of plant specimens. The more they discovered, the more questions arose. Most people still believed that plants and animals were created by God, entirely for the use of humankind. How could this explain the South American wilderness, where humans seemed insignificant compared to the giants of nature? Before leaving the Cumana coast, Humboldt and Bonplan had one more mission to complete. They monitored a solar eclipse that astronomers had forecast for October 28, 1799. The event gave them the data they needed to pinpoint Kumana's exact position on the map. Less than a week after the eclipse, Kumana was rocked by an earthquake. While most ran for safety, Emmy and Alexander rushed to gather data. It was a life-changing experience. When shocks from an earthquake are felt, and the earth we think of as so stable shakes on its foundations, one second is long enough to destroy long-held illusions. At the time, the dominant scientific view was that earth had been shaped by water. In the years after his Kumana earthquake experience, Humboldt came to conclude that volcanic forces had primarily shaped our planet. It was a crucial insight that paved the way for a revolutionary new understanding of nature, and he was just getting started.